of our leaders, only Nicholas Lemke hit the green. Last five shots on a gap wedge. Trying to chop it, put some spin on it for Harding. Yes. Harding is in perfect position here. He's putting uphill. This is an inside right edge putt. Just what a right-handed putter loves. Allows the putter to swing in a nice arc without having to manipulate anything. And that's an excellent bounce back for Justin Harding. That make him forget that bogey on the first pretty quickly. Harding going with the big stick here at the third. Wind off the left. Yeah, nicely shaked around the corner. 159 for Justin Harding. Nice flat lie in the fairway. Wind helping in front of the right equal amounts. It's about a one and a half club wind. It's just gusts up a bit right now. Seen that putt a couple of times, breaks gently from left to right. Last week's victory here at the magical Kenya Open, his second European Tour victory. Very comfortable in the continent of Africa. Just looking for a nice two putt here, but drops in, so it should turn from there. Oh! Nice. After that bogey at the first, birdie birdie for Harding. Harding ready to go with the driver. He's comfortable moving it right to left. The wind is going to help as well. It's quartering from the right. Probably as strong as it's been all day. Nearing a club and a half in strength. Harding will be first to play from the left side of the fairway. Wind helping from the right. Just slightly uphill. The players cannot see the bottom of the flagstick, maybe the top half. And this is from 188 for last week's winner. Mm, good shot. It's a little bit unlucky, that. Quick chip coming up. Lie dependent, this one. Ah, oh, he's played a beauty. Oh, fancy that. Harding has made mincemeat of this hole. He absolutely owns it, going with the driver. He's got the short abbreviated swing both back and through, but he can move it in both directions. Very comfortable maneuvering the ball. Well, he's driven this green last three times he's played it. Can he do it again? Yes, he can. It's just wow. a par three for him, isn't it? That is incredibly impressive, isn't it? To drive it on a par four, what did you say, three times or four times in a row now, that's brilliant. No wonder he's smiling and chuckling. Couple of eagles. Just the one par. Can he get another eagle? It's tracking. Good putt. Harding. Just a little bit. Left and right to contend with there on his next putt. He hit it with quite a lot of authority. Put it in the hole with some speed. Well, it does so. Two shot deserved the birdie and Julie got it. He seemed to be looking when he was up by the flag, Jay, a little bit to the left and beyond. Is there any contour there that you can use? I don't think it's a steep enough slope, Tim, but I like the way you're thinking. Decent result, considering the 
what is that Jay described. It's still a good opportunity for Birdie as well as he puts. Hard on then after that cleverly thought out little chip. Ten footer for the birdie hit with authority. Yes! Well done, Justin Harding. Harding has a three wood out as he has all week. I just he's a straight driver. He just must not like the way it suits his eye here. As I said, it's pretty wide between the trees, a generous fairway, as they are at this course. Yeah. Shot. Very good. Any graffiti, please. Excellent tee shot for Harding. Hopefully give him an opportunity to get back the shot he dropped at the last hole. Straight at it for Harding, and it was. This putt will not be affected by the ridge. It's far enough away from his line. A little bit of left to right, but that's it. Looks good. It is good as well. It is a birdie for Justin Harding, who climbs back alongside David Drysdale. In a share of the lead. Harding first to play here at 16, 171 to a pin that's over in the left front part of the green. There's a little bunker just behind it. Can't see it, but the players know it's there. <laughs> that must have looked incredible to missing absolutely all over the bend. Never in doubt. Excellent tee shot. Deserved the birdie. He gets it. Harding moves to 16 under. One ahead of his fellow South African now, Darren Fickart. The wind is howling. First time we've seen it in several holes. It seemed like it had died down, but it's back on 18. Hard out of the right, straight out of the right. Harding has just been going with the three wood. Sticking with his game plan as he said he would. Plays three yards longer than the actual distance. And it's about a half a club breeze from the right. Definitely has died down. Absolute pinch from Justin Harding. Every chance he's going to close out with a birdie. Five under par 66, and a three shot lead. Well Never really in any doubt, tremendous playing from Justin Harding. When he bogeyed 14, he was a little bit behind the leaders, but three birdies in the last four and a round of 66. Justin, another great day. Round in uh, 66, eight birdies in 66. Is that a bit of a surprise? Uh, maybe considering how it felt like I struggled a little bit out there, to be fair. Um, I couldn't seem to give myself a good number from the fairway. Uh, and when you're playing at altitude and as, as hot as the ball is out here, yeah, it's sometimes just a bit awkward to get in the club selection right. But, I mean, after I bogey 14 unnecessarily, it was anyone's game. I'm just happy with the way I finished and gave myself a good chance. It might have been anyone's game after 14. But that strong finish, birdies at 15, 16, and 18. You're now three clear. You won this past Sunday. What type of streak are you on? And you know, what are your feelings going into the final day tomorrow? Look, I got no idea. As I said before, I mean, I seem to, I seem to be having a good game plan around here. And I mean, ultimately, I'm probably executing a few more shots. I've I've hit it good off the tee. Maybe not quite as good into the greens, but I've bailed myself out a couple times with the putter. Um, yeah, I mean, this morning it looked like everybody was going bananas. So it was uh, it was a tricky day. Um, I think my my par save on eight was a bit of a bit of a booster. I think missing the short one on seven and then making that and avoiding the bogey was was at least a big plus. Great playing. Thanks again for your time and good luck tomorrow. Sweet. Thanks very much. To watch another European Tour video, click here, and to subscribe, click here.